Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Glara cluster with the MariaDB 10.2 on CentOS server. So I have a list of all the items and queries that we need to use in this installation. Go to techbrotherstutorials.com, go to databases, and here you will see MariaDB admin. Once you see there, go to the first chapter, and I have written this post here, how to create Glara cluster with MariaDB 10.2 on CentOS servers. I have divided this uh, installation in three parts. Uh, first of all, uh, we will install uh, MariaDB on each of the node. And then, uh, second, uh, we will uh, disable firewall and uh, uh, we'll open the ports which are required uh, for the Lara cluster to work. Uh, and then we will uh, run the SC Linux node uh, disable on all these three nodes uh, so Glara cluster can start. Finally, we'll make changes uh, to the server config file and uh, provide the IPs of each of the node and then we will start the first node and last we will start the second node you can have as many as nodes you want the same configuration file you can use with small changes by just providing different ips here and the ip on each of the node itself okay so let's start with the very uh, basic uh, first of all let's say you got this linux box and you want to check uh, what exactly linux uh, version you have uh, installed on those uh, boxes uh. so i'm going to go ahead and open this putty and uh, i have uh, one box with the uh, ip 100 you can see that 192.168.1.100 uh, let's change the appearance a little bit so we can have a little better font size so we can see that uh, this is our first uh, node uh. so i'm going to put the screen here move it here and then i will bring uh, the other uh, node as well okay so our second node ip is the uh, 101 as i said that you can have as many as nodes you want uh, so maybe five node ten node uh, you know depends on number of nodes you would like to have in your galera cluster i'm only having two nodes uh, right here let me make this screen small as well so we can work in parallel and I can show you most of the things uh, right here. Okay, good. So I have to provide the username and the password. So I provided the username and password. And the second part, uh, let me provide the username and password here. Okay. Now we would like to check uh, the version of uh, our Linux. Uh, so here I ran this query, cat uh, etc red hat uh, release. Uh, and I can see that I have CentOS uh, Linux release 7.4.1708. Uh, and I'm going to run the same query here. And uh, I can see that this uh, node also has the same version of uh, Linux. Uh, why it is important? Because we would like to download uh, the MariaDB version uh, according to this uh, Linux flavor. So now the next part, uh, if you see here, we have to make some changes for the installation. Uh, we are going to create this uh, repo file. So MariaDB.repo file in uh, yum.repos.d that exists in etc directory and uh, this is the path we will be putting uh, uh, for the download so if you want to go ahead and take a look here it will tell you whatever flavors are available for MariaDB to install on different uh, um, type of uh, Linux. Uh, so here, see if, if you want to install on Fedora, you are going to be clicking here and uh, then uh, downloading uh, from here. In my case, I'm going to use the uh, CentOS 7 uh, AMD 64. Uh, so I already have uh, uh, put right here, you can see that. Uh, so that's the path from where our package will be downloaded uh, and uh, we will install. Uh, so let's uh, take this path and uh, on each of the server we will create this repo mariadb.repo file so we can run our installation okay this uh, uh, i already have it there so if you want to go back and uh, remove this file let's go back uh, um, hit uh, colon and the uh, q and uh, um, explanation mark and you can go ahead and delete it so if i will go say and uh, rm uh, let me do uh, sudo rm dash r and i will say the etc dash uh, yum dot repos dot d and uh, dash uh, maria db dot repo okay now the file is uh, deleted uh, and the same thing uh, i can do it here so you can create a totally a new file. So let's uh, paste it here. So it is deleted here as well. Now we can take this uh, uh, vi 
to create a new file so I'm gonna hit here so new file will be created you could have just deleted the contents uh, um, uh, in the previous file and uh, just paste whatever you have but I'm gonna just uh, start fresh so you at least you follow along with everything let's say you don't have the file and all that so that's the case is so I pasted it here and uh, I'm gonna go up a little bit here and uh, fix this part uh, and uh, press uh, escape then press I that will see the insert part come here so you now you can insert M A and uh, this is how it should look uh, on this side I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paste that as well uh, so hit uh, escape and I and then make these uh, changes uh, somehow when I paste it uh, it kind of take these uh, some words uh, don't come right okay so uh, now we are good here so in each of the things you are gonna hit escape and then put colon and uh, put W Q and explanation mark now this will be saved right here escape colon and w q and uh, explanation mark and uh, this will be saved as well now we are all set uh, to install uh, mariadb first of all before we install it let's remove mariadb if there is uh, uh, something installed so i'm going to say sudo yum remove why i'm doing it because i was uh, uh, playing with this uh, and uh, i had uh, this installation going on uh, many times so i want to just make sure uh, we have clean installation so this is going to remove uh, if uh, there is any MariaDB installed I'm gonna paste this one as well here so okay so we are all good on this node there is no MariaDB and here it will take a look and uh, we should be ready to install now now this is the part that will install uh, the MariaDB uh, server and client on uh, this machine so we'll say sudo yum install MariaDB server MariaDB client so copy this statement and uh, run on this server okay now it's working and uh, yes I would like to do that and uh, it is uh, around 157 MB in size so it can take a little bit time to download so I'm gonna wait a little bit uh, here because if I will uh, start uh, uh, okay we can run the command here and uh, let's not start the download right away so let's wait for a, a couple of seconds while this catch up uh, I could have just uh, um, kind of stop the video here and uh, go and uh, kind of merge them later but I just want to wait here it's not going to take hours so I will wait for uh, for a minute here and then we will uh, proceed with the uh, node 1 and uh, while uh, it will be downloading and installing here so 52 seconds uh, not a whole lot okay so we are getting close uh, uh, almost 100 there are another 33 uh, three seconds left uh, for this installation um, I have noticed that this installation and download really go quick uh, um, especially if you have uh, several machines uh, I have these uh, um, host or nodes uh, uh, these are just laptops uh, and uh, what happened I have also shared the internet between uh, like around 12 uh, computers and uh, iPhones in my house so uh, a lot of devices are connected with my internet speed is kind of slow uh, okay so the download is uh, done now it is installing so we can proceed with this part as well so now you can see that uh, it is a uh, uh, working on installation part uh, and on this side we are in, um, on the download and uh, this should not take a whole lot on node 1 the installation is uh, less than sometime 20 seconds 30 seconds uh, so not a big deal now from uh, here once uh, this uh, installation is done uh, what we have to do we have to start the MariaDB service uh, so we can use sudo my assist system ctl start mysql that's one way or you can say service uh, my uh, mysql start uh, so whatever the command uh, you like uh, you can uh, use and start the um, MariaDB service uh, okay so this is almost uh, finishing up then we will start the service uh, on uh, node 1 so uh, my nodes names are Cassandra 1 and Cassandra 2 so when I say node 1 it means Cassandra node 1 um, that's the name of the node and here is a node 2 you can see on top okay the installation is completed next uh, we are starting uh, the MySQL service uh, by using sudo systemctl start mysql okay did started next uh, from here 
what we are going to do we are going to run the secure installation and that's where you will provide the root password and also uh, uh, do some other configuration now let's go ahead and uh, run that command okay it's an enter current password we don't have for the root we don't have it so okay you would like to set a new password yes okay i'm going to go ahead and provide the new password the enter password fine and uh, remove uh, anonymous users yes and uh, disable remote login yes and then uh, remove test database yes and uh, reload privilege tables now yes okay so our all the installation is uh, done on this uh, node now let's wait for this uh, second node to come it's almost uh, installing we will be running the service and then we'll run the secure installation so i'm gonna run first of all we have to bring the service online and then from there uh, we will be running the secure installation now if uh, we would like uh, I, I we can check the MariaDB database here by using my SQL dash u root and dash p to log into uh, MariaDB one two three and see show databases so we can see the databases it is shown as three rows so uh, MariaDB is installed perfectly fine and we are able to log in on this server and uh, we have information schema my SQL and uh, performance uh, schema uh, the same thing we have to do it here. okay okay now the remember once uh, the MariaDB is uh, done and then uh, once the MariaDB is done then we have to start the service so, uh, this one sudo system start and uh, here we are starting the service it should come just fine then we have to perform the secure installation so we can provide the password and username sorry just the password for root and uh, configure other uh, uh, options okay it's taken some time i hope uh, everything goes fine because uh, in my case uh, i have done okay uh, a lot of installation and removed many times so i corrupted many configuration files okay enter password for root we don't have it yes we would like to set okay i'm gonna provide the password okay yes uh, remove them yes yes and yes okay this is cool so we are uh, mysql dash u root and dash p and uh, now you provide the password here uh, and it should work uh, just fine so you say show databases uh, and uh, it should show you the same databases uh, because these are the system of databases of uh, they are uh, created uh, with the installation now the next part is we exit from here and uh, then stop the services on both nodes uh, so you can uh, use uh, this command so right here sudo service uh, mysql stop or use use the same service uh, here would we use a system uh, start instead of stop you will uh, start you will say stop mysql so i'm going to use the below one doesn't matter okay so now the service should be stopped successfully and we can see that the message it is stopped successfully that's great and this is also stopped successfully now the actual part comes uh, uh, with the glare cluster configuration now I, we are going to go here and see first of all we have two options here we can simply disable the firewall and uh, or otherwise uh, we can let the firewall be open and open these ports uh, so in my case i'm not going to bother myself with the firewall all and all that in your case uh, you can uh, let it, the firewall be open if it is not open you can use system instead of uh, disable say enable firewall d it will uh, enable it and uh, system start firewall d that will start uh, the firewall now then you will run these four commands in my case uh, i'm going to just disable it so i'm going to stop the firewall so on both servers okay system c see i have uh, some spelling uh, mistakes here in the notes uh, so it should be system ctl so i will fix uh, this one you know and uh, that's why i was, we were having problem so we say 
paste it and then uh, system ctl okay that's the command and then we are gonna i'm gonna copy this command as well for uh, on this side so just uh, select that and uh, now we run on this side as well again see <laughs> instead of ctl i i, I put a clt great amir you are doing really good here sorry uh, we are wasting a little bit of time here so uh, but sometime the same thing with uh, you will face the same issues uh, many many times we will do spelling mistakes and all that okay so i stopped the firewall now the next part is uh, we have to disable it i'm gonna go ahead and run it okay let's run that one okay see here even i totally forget to put the system ctl uh, that should be system ctl i will fix the notes uh, for you guys that's why i like uh, going through the notes instead of typing by myself uh, because if there are notes are having issue so we can uh, t t take a look uh, you know, like what exactly system ctl disable work fine now we are all good now services are stopped we disable the firewall next part what we would like to do we would like to uh, disable se linux so what happened if you have this enable and uh, your glare cluster is not going to start so you would have issues with that so we don't need this one we are going to go ahead and disable it and uh, i can run this one right click paste okay so that uh, worked just fine and i can run this one as well okay great and uh, now i'm going to go ahead and run the second query this one okay linux is disabled you can see the message great looks good now the next part is uh, that's where we are going to make the changes in etc my.config.d that's the directory that's where the server.config file exists so we have to make the changes and you see that i have put the notes like what exactly it means so if i will be you and i will be making changes i will take this code as it is and put it in the notepad and, and I'm, I'm going, going to show, show you exactly changes what we need to make so here see first node ip and if i'm making changes this doesn't really matter like uh, you can put a uh, uh, in any sequence uh, but i'm going to just keep this one as a sequence for myself it is easy to remember sometime like okay or see them if they are in the sequence so you have second node ip that's one one for our case and if you have more you comma and put uh, keep putting the more the same way i put it here now that's where if you are putting on node one and this is the ip of the node one that's where you need to put that here okay so if you do not know the ip of your computer so you can say if config so let's go here and if i need to uh, make the changes in this uh, server dot config file i will say if config before it make any changes and i can see that uh, scroll over a little bit up and i can see right here the ip of this computer is 192.168.1.100 so same command i can run it here if config and take a look on the ip and right here you see that 101 okay so first of all we are making changes to the uh, node which has ip uh, 192.168.1.100 so i have taken the excel uh, sorry the script and then made these changes so i put all the ips of all the nodes here then i put the ip of the current host where i'm making changes so this looks good and i do not have to do any other changes all these uh, parameters or variables you can change the values of like uh, wrs max uh, right rows uh, size of them like you see here is 2gb if you want to make it small like 1gb not more than 1gb in the sets sets uh, excuse me you can change that i would recommend like read through them and uh, make the changes according to your um, uh, criteria and here your uh, cluster name is going to be so i'm going to call it tech brothers okay so we are ready we are going to do control c select and control c select everything uh, now we are going to go back and we know that uh, we have to put this one in uh, cd 
first of all let me go to root and we go to etc and uh, um, sorry cd etc i'm really bad with typing and we, then we should cd dot my dot cnf dot d and uh, ls and here we have server dot cnf so you you can see the file right here okay great so i have uh, selected that uh, so i have to reselect this part again uh, and uh, copy okay now i'm gonna go here and make the changes so i will say sudo vi server dot cnf and uh, i see there isn't anything in this one right now there if there is anything you can override it uh, um, you can delete everything and override it uh, or uh, um, you can put these parameters find everywhere where they are and put them there so your choice uh, you know i'm going to just keep uh, overwriting it uh, this file um, right and uh, you uh, hit escape hit i and then right click so you can see that sorry and now if you will uh, uh, go up with the arrow key you can see everything is good now you has hit escape again and hit uh, colon and w and q and explanation mark this will save okay and remember our cluster our uh, mariadb services are stopped on both of the nodes and uh, okay now here i'm gonna go to the now i will be making the same changes on node 2 and remember the node 2 we have ip 101 and this is the only place I have to make uh, the adjustments uh, or changes. Uh. Rest of that, this is going to stay as it is. Uh, fine. Okay. Control A, copy. Go to the server here. And now, what we are going to do? We are going to go to the CD etc. And in the etc, we know that my dot config dot d. That's uh, the directory. And let's do ls. Uh, we see that server dot config is there. So I'm going to do sudo vi server.config cnf actually okay and uh, you might have some when you install the uh, mariadb uh, again i'm telling you you will have some values uh, you can go ahead and delete them uh, you know and then put to this uh, entire file as it is okay so hit escape hit i and right click uh, and then uh, you can scroll up uh, to take a look okay everything looks good so escape and then uh, colon wq explanation mark and saved now this is all pretty much done here next part what we have to do start the service on the first node so when we start the service if you guys remember it we, on the previous when we installed the mariadb we use the service uh, mysql start and then uh, we stop do by using the kind of same statement with the uh, with stop but uh, when you are done with the cluster configuration you are not going to use uh, the service uh, mysql start you are going to use sudo glara underscore new underscore cluster on the first node so i'm going to go ahead and copy and then go back to the our first node i'm going to call this one first node you can call this one first node your choice but as uh, it is one so i'm going to call this one first now uh, this is going to start uh, our MariaDB service. Uh, click. Okay, it's working. It worked just fine. Now, but we do not know if the cluster is up and running. Uh, so we have to verify that. And also, we can, first of all, let me check the status uh, uh, of a service. So we say system CTL status MySQL. Okay, so if we scroll up a little bit, uh, we can see that uh, the service is uh, actively running that's great so glara cluster uh, the command we ran it did bring the service up uh, now the problem is like uh, not the problem but we the information we need if the glara cluster is configured correctly and uh, we are able to see the size of the uh, uh, cluster it should have one node so i'm going to go ahead and say mysql dash u root dash p and log into the MariaDB. Now, here we will run this command. We say show variables like, and we look for these variables WS rep cluster size, and then um, we have a uh, terminator here, and then we are going to hit enter. What happened here? Show variables uh, empty set. So let's say show variables 
that, that's a lot of variables okay so show variables like ws wrap if we are just uh, going to take a look uh, on those variables uh, okay 43 rows that has a lot of information and we are looking for something uh, that has underscore cluster okay let's see okay so we see here uh, uh, let me make this screen a little better bigger and uh, we see that uh, these are then this is the name of the cluster and uh, this is uh, the uh, these are the uh, IPs uh, which we have added uh, so one of the statement uh, I would like to run here underscore size why I was not able to get size I'm not sure so it's saying uh, hmm so let's see if we run this cluster and uh, okay it, it gives us this uh, I'm kind of curious uh, here I would like to see the size actually and uh, let's uh, WRS keep this uh, as it is and run the whole thing and uh, we'll see what variables we have here This screen is uh, gonna get harder to see <laughs> sometimes uh, when you have a lot of variables and uh, I'm still like uh, okay uh, let me do one thing uh, I can see that I mean it, it has a node address it has uh, this uh, uh, thing uh, and the cluster name uh, cluster IP uh, those IPs and all those things are chained so it looks like uh, it should be working I'm gonna exit from here and uh, I'm going to run this query that uh, I can run from uh, the this is the same query just uh, if you don't want to log in uh, to the uh, mysql first and run this query you can only run uh, this part of it uh, so i'm going to go ahead and uh, without even uh, from the terminal uh, i'm placing it i'm still uh, using uh, mysql dash u root and providing the password and all that uh, and providing the query so let's see what it has okay yeah see that um, we were uh, the value is uh, one so it means that the node is uh, added successfully I, I'm still confused like with the, this uh, see WS rep cluster underscore size it should show us uh, so if even I uh, log in to here root that's the same thing actually we read uh, uh, from the MySQL but why it was not filtering that's uh, one of the thing I would like to consider for myself like why okay so we were saying show variables and uh, ah instead of not show variables actually we should be um, uh, saying uh, show status so, so um, we can actually uh, we can use this one let me copy this thing uh, like this and I'm going to copy here show status like this uh, and then put that here so we say, see that status uh, i believe was we'll show variables this is also see it, it is a variable name so ws rep size uh, so maybe it was in the process of uh, variables uh, and uh, hmm. am i ma making a mistake with the lowercase or uppercase but anyways our cluster uh, is working fine uh, and uh, it has uh, the node is added to variables okay let's give a last try last time now i'm um, i'm gonna go with the show status uh, like okay instead of uh, variables because uh, uh, maybe that's not the right uh, statement so i will change that uh, uh, script there as well okay so now we exit from here and we see that uh, on node one is added successfully uh, to the cluster we ran this uh, statement uh, and uh, that tells us uh, show uh, status uh, of those variables uh, and that tells us the size of the uh, cluster is a one right here one node is added okay great now on the second node uh, we do not have to run uh, 
glara uh, cluster this in uh, this uh, statement we don't have to run on the second order this is only for the first node that you want to start uh, and uh, we can go and uh, second uh, nodes can be started with simple uh, sudo uh, service uh, mysql start now this uh, service is going to start okay so it is working let's see if it will start shouldn't be problem on this side we can run that statement okay the service did start it successfully let's check the size of the cluster now so see it should have two nodes okay okay see the node is added successfully let me log in here to the uh, my my sql so dash u root dash p provide the password okay now show databases and uh, here you can see that if i will uh, log into the my mariadb as well and dash p okay now if uh, i will uh, check the databases here so you can see that uh, both of them have uh, the uh, three databases i'm going to call this one node one database so let's create a database create a database uh, tb node one and uh, this is it on this one i'm going to go ahead and say create a database tb node two these uh, databases should be replicated across uh, so they both uh, now if i run the query show databases here the what should be happening this should me show me uh, the node one database as well as it sh should show me the node two database uh, it should be replicated so you can see that both databases are here we created node one here but node two was created on the node two but it is replicated to the node one same thing if i go here and say show databases and now i should see all databases here so if i will say use uh, tb node one and i'm going to go ahead and create table and call test id with integer and then uh, i'm going to insert a value insert into test values one now see i'm creating this table in node one and uh, uh, i'm going to query from the node two so i would say use tb node one database and uh, now i'll say select star from test so it should give me the results so see yeah, it is having one record same way you can create the database insert the record see it uh, create the table insert the records on node 2 they should be replicated to one that's how it uh, glare cluster work so now you see that we were able to successfully um, install MariaDB and uh, configure glare cluster we had some issues uh, uh, with the see uh, here instead of uh, we should say show status uh, and uh, like uh, uh, I'm gonna use uh, not the variables here I will do more research like I should be using status or uh, variables uh, in this one I'm also kind of new to this uh, uh, glare cluster queries and all that so you can see yeah you will be saying uh, uh, use uh, sorry show uh, show status so, and it will show you the status of all these uh, global variables so, okay great yeah thanks very much for watching this video i hope uh, you it will help you to configure your glara cluster with maria db 10.2 and uh, i would just um, request for a subscription and like if you li li like the video uh, if uh, you really like it and it help you out uh, thanks very much for watching i will see you guys in next video